In the previous video, we learned to create a web server on ESP32 acting as a Wi-Fi station mode. Now in this video, we will learn another Wi-Fi mode which is an access point mode. In access point mode, you don't need a router. ESP32 will act as the access point providing the IP address to a connecting device. We will create the same web server but this time, we will connect directly to ESP32 and no need for a Wi-Fi router in between. So without further delays, let's begin by learning some basics of Wi-Fi access point. In order to access the ESP32 Wi-Fi, load the network driver by import network. Now create an SSID constant named SSID and assign a string value, let's say ESP32 underscore AP. This will serve as the name of the access point. Also create a constant named password and assign a string value which will be the password of your choice. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 9. The password should be a minimum of 8 characters to work properly. Now create a WLAN object named AP using network.wlan and configure it as the access point using the AP underscore IF constant from the network module. Network.ap underscore IF. Now we can activate the Wi Fi access point hardware using the AP that active and assigned a value of true. Now we can configure the access point with SSID and password using the AP that config and use the constants we created recently that is e SSID assign the constant SSID the password with password. To get the IP address of the access point, call the ifconfig function, that is ap if config. The current IP address of ESP32 is 192.168.4.1. To check if there is a station currently connected, we may call the isConnected function, that is ap that is connected. Of course, currently it is false. We can try to connect to it using my desktop. I will connect to the ESP32 underscore AP. Let's give it some time. Okay. Now currently connected. So we can check if a client is connected to our web server. So it, now it returns a true. For example number one, I modified the source code from the previous tutorial and adapt it to work with access point. So here it is. This one is still the same. But this part, I changed it to configuration of access point. So we begin by importing the network module. We created a constants, SSID and password. Then we create an access point. We activate it. We configure it to use the SSID and the password. And we wait until it's become active again. Then we print the IP address of the ESP32 access point. So the socket is the same. The web page is the same and the main loop is, is still the same. We only change the configuration of ESP32 Wi-Fi. Let me run it. So currently it's 192.168.4.1. I don't know if we need to change the SSID. Yeah, this one. Connect. Okay, now connected. 
let me open a web browser. The IP address is 192.168.4.1. So this is okay. By the way, I add this one. I need to delete that one. Okay, now we can turn on the LED. The LED is now on. Turn it off. LED is now off. So it's working same as in the previous tutorial. But this time we are directly connecting to the ESP32 web server. For example, number two, I have here a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. Let's display the measurement to a web server like a weather station. Let me attach it to ESP32. I will power it with 3.3 volts and commonly grounded. The data pin will be connected to ESP32 pin 23 for more details in using the DHT sensor in MicroPython. You may refer to MicroPython tutorial number 11. Let me power it down. I will connect the DHT22. I will use some jumper wires. So the first pin is The middle pin is data, and the third pin is round. I will connect the data pin to P23, pin 23 of ESP32. The BCC to 3.3 volts. And the ground to ESP32 ground. Okay. I also have the source code prepared here. This one. Let me run it first, then briefly discuss the code later on. So let me first stop. Then run this one. So it's still 192.168.4.1 and the name is still the same so we can connect directly. Let me just input the IP address. Connect. Okay. Again, connect to it, now connected, let me run again, okay, now it's giving a temperature of 29.4 degrees Celsius with a humidity of 65.5%. Now let's tackle the code. The code is still similar to example number one. First, this one is actually we don't need, but let it be. Then the configuration of the Wi-Fi is still the same as the access point. The socket is, is still the same. Only this one. These are for the DHT sensor. In order to use the DHT sensor, we need to import the DHT driver 
which is a standard module included in MicroPython firmware. So this one. Then we created a DHT22 object named D using the DHT driver dot DHT22 class and assign the pin of the ESP32 digital pin 23. So if you are going to use a DHT11, you may use this one. Let's see the web page which is created every time the web server is called. First is we get a, a new measurement readings by calling the measure function of DHT class. Then we save the temperature to the T variable. Then we save the humidity to the H variable. Then the HTML page is created using HTML code. As you can see, it has HTML. And with HTML, it has head, head, and the body. And these are the string inside. Now to update the measurement readings, just click the refresh button of the web server. So we can refresh and as you can see it refresh but clicking the refresh button of the web browser every time you need a new value is not good right let's see a simple workaround to let the web page automatically refresh let's say for every one second i already prepared that one here this one let me uncomment it that is meta http equip refresh with the content of one for one second the unit of the this one is second i searched in the internet and this is the easiest but not so good solution let me save this one and let's see it in action if it refresh every one second let me stop first, then run again. Let's check if it's con still connected. Okay, still connected. And let me refresh this one. And as you can see, it constantly updating. Because this one is also displayed here. Of course, this is not the most efficient way but this serves enough for this tutorial. I read somewhere that one way is to use JavaScript to only update the values and not the whole page. I am not good in using JavaScript. Let's see if I can create it in the near future. That's all for now. I have a similar video posted a few months ago for ESP32 web server, both for station mode and access point mode using Arduino environment. Be sure to check it out. I will post the link below in the video description. And if you have any question regarding this tutorial, you may write your inquiry in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up by clicking the like button and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this and if you are not yet subscribed please do subscribe now you might also like to visit my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details and references such as circuit diagram and source code thank you and have a good days ahead see you in the next video bye